what is here unconditionally? Unconditionally in always. In the sense that no matter what the condition might be, the condition applies to all appearances. The condition of the world, the condition of the body, the condition of our thoughts, the condition of our emotions, all these sensations. What is here, irrespective of these conditions? Qualities and conditions are coming and going. What remains, whatever the condition might be, and if that is your greater reality, the limitless, conditionless one, if that is your greater reality, then at best the appearance of these conditions, the appearance of this world is just an aspect of your play. What I'm saying is that no condition can truly define the reality of you. You are not this way or the other. And this is very freeing, you see. There is great freedom in this. Because although it might sound like it is some sort of denial of the appearance, Actually, it is not. It is very freeing because all appearances then are allowed to come and go. Once you see that your greater reality remains untouched and it is only the smaller notion that I could have about myself, it seems to get affected by the conditions in the appearance. And this applies to all conditions. So all the clues which are given to you in satsang, clues like, what is it that witnesses all that is changing and yet remains unchanging itself? What is it that is aware of all things? Is that itself a thing? Is there a qualityless, attributeless self? What is aware of your existence? All these are beautiful pointings, clues. Are you aware now? Beautiful clues to find that which remains without any condition is not touched by whatever the appearance might be. And it is in the recognition of this greater reality about yourself that you become truly open to all appearances as well. Because it is when you find that you cannot be hurt and dented by any appearance can you truly be open? Mm. 